Hey, what's going on? Nick Tsai here. So in this video, I'm going to share for you which blogging platform should you choose. Because sometimes I get questions like, Hey Nick, I do want to start blogging, but I don't know which one should I start it, should I choose? Well, I would say it depends on um, your attitude to blogging. What do I mean by that? Well, you can treat it like a hobby. Like just like golfing, like you play games, you do everything for free, or you pay a little, but you don't really worry about if you're getting traffic, if you're getting views, if you're getting money from it, or you can treat it like an investment. You can see, oh, I want to start a blogging business, and yes, blogging can be treated as a business. If you go to the website Flippa, you can see there are so many people are selling their blogs uh, for money, right? So in the marketing world, content equals money. So if you can create great content on your blog, you can just build a business around it. So there are two ways for you to get started. You can treat it like a hobby. You can do it or everything for free. Then you can just use all the free platform like Medium, like Blogger, like WordPress.com, like, like Wix, like Weebly. So they are free. So the pro of that is this free, right? It's easy to start and it's easy to rank. If you um, do some on-site SEO, you can easily rank um, top page of Google. And, but there's a problem. They have no control over your website. Most time you cannot install your pixel, you cannot do retargeting, there's no exit pop-up, there's so many restrictions here and it's hard for you to monetize. I actually got some of my medium website got shut down because I put affiliate link in the site. So you can see there's so many limitations on those sites, right? And you're not building your long-term brand with those sites because if one day they say, oh, uh, we want to wrap it up, we don't really want to serve our audience anymore, you will lose your with your business overnight. So you, another way is you can just host, um, you can rent a host and run a WordPress site yourself. So you need to pay for the hosting, right? But you don't have to pay for the WordPress. And sometimes you may need to pay for plugin and things and most of the time you need to pay for a domain so that's the problem you may have but actually it's not expensive right so the pro is you have more control it's, you have much way more control and you are building a long-term brand right and you are you, you can easy easily monetize your blog because right now you can um, sell ads you can have someone post on your site and pay for you, or you can even promote like a free marketing product and make money from it. And you can install all the tracking pixel, you can do the IB testing, you can follow up with the audience if you want to build an email list, you can do retargeting, you can do so many things with that. So that's why I recommend you to start your own WordPress site and if you are under your own domain. There's some con. That it's not free. Yeah, that's it. it. It's not expensive as well. And you may need some tech support, especially for those who are not tech. So there are two ways you can do to run your WordPress site. The first one is you can get a host and you can do all the setting yourself. If you are more techy, you know uh, more technology, then you can do that. Or you can go to uh, myfirst.pblog.com and you can get a WordPress site under that and you can get support by their team. You get training and you get community. So that's a good way to start as well. So for those who are not techy, who say, oh, I'm, I don't know how to use computer or I don't know how to set up a website. It sounds so confusing. Go to myfirst.pblog. Com because you will get the, your, the support you want, you will get um, the community, the training, and you can try it for free. So you can run under their own domain first and to see if their service is great fit for you. Then if you like it, pay for it. Don't like it, cancel it. So it's totally risk-free. 
Or if you want to set things yourself, you can go to Bluehost, right? You can go to nickcai.com slash Bluehost and to create your account. Then you can go to also, if you need some like support, you can go to Fiverr to hire someone to do that for you. It's another way of doing that. So quick recap, you can run your blog even under a free platform, which is like Medium, Blogger, Wix, Weebly, or you can buy a host um, under like a Bluehost and set up your own. Or you can go to myfirst.pblog.com and get the support and training you need. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you soon in the next video.